One character that was sorely missed in Matrix Resurrections was without a doubt Morpheus, the liberator of humans and the leader with faith who unknowingly helped the machines. What is the tale behind his absence and what led to his downfall? In this video, we will be talking about what happened to Morpheus. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Morpheus, originally played by Lawrence Fishburne, was introduced as an enigmatic figure, leader, mentor, and most of all, a prophet. Since the start of the Matrix film series, Morpheus was tasked with carrying and spreading a prophecy that dictates the arrival of the one who would free humanity from the captivity of the Matrix. When Morpheus was freed from the Matrix and became a red pill, he joined the Zion army and dedicated his life to achieving the goal to save people from the Matrix. During his youth, Morpheus was dating Niobe, although things changed the day the Oracle told him that his destiny was to find the one. The Oracle, the mysterious old woman who has been helping humans since the beginning of the simulation. The influence of the prophecy disrupted Morpheus' life as a soldier and as a person. He became obsessed with finding the One, which resulted in much collateral damage. Case in point, Eddie, Neo's predecessor. This young man was freed from the Matrix by Morpheus and was told to never speak to any friends or loved ones he left behind in the simulation that included his girlfriend. Morpheus believed that Eddie was the one, but Eddie fell into the hands of the agents when he tried to see his girlfriend behind Morpheus' back. This lack of empathy is one of the many reasons why Niobe left Morpheus and why Cypher hated his captain because he saw him as a fanatic and that he should not be trusted. Jesus, what a mind job. So you're here to save the world. Most of all. I'm tired of that Jagoff and all of his bullshit. He lied to us, Trinity. He tricked us. If you would have told us the truth, we would have told you to shove that red pill right up your ass. That is not true, Cypher. He set us free. Free. You called this free. When the Matrix began, we saw news articles labeling Morpheus as a wanted criminal on the loose. He is considered to be a terrorist who sabotages law and order and the system but that did not deter him from his goal of finding the One. The relationship between Morpheus and Neo is cemented in this unwavering faith. When Morpheus meets Neo, he sees more than just an ordinary software programmer. He sees the savior of humanity. His faith in Neo stems from the words of the Oracle, the old woman whose wisdom and divination was considered infallible. Although we found out in Matrix Reloaded that the Oracle worked for the machines and was herself a Matrix program. Morpheus, who had been looking for the One for a long time, saw the potential in Neo. He offers him the choice between the Red and the Blue Pill, which will determine if Neo is ready to face reality beyond the Matrix. Once Neo accepts reality, Morpheus becomes his mentor and guide, teaching him to understand and manipulate the Matrix. You take the Red Pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Morpheus' role expands and evolves as the Matrix trilogy progresses. His faith in Neo never wavers, even when Neo himself doubts his destiny as the savior of humanity. Despite the trials he undergoes, Morpheus' trust in the prophecy and Neo remains unshaken. But his faith in the Oracle, however, was unraveling after Neo explains the ploy behind the prophecy of the One. It was a lie, Morpheus. The prophecy was a lie. The One was never meant to end anything. Morpheus' faith also blinded him to the impending dangers. When Neo makes peace with the machines at the end of Matrix Revolutions, Morpheus believes the peace will last forever. He ignores the Oracle's warning of a new enemy growing in power, continuing to believe that the peace Neo brought was unbreakable, and that was his ultimate downfall. A faction of machines led by the Analyst invades Zion, the underground city that Morpheus protected with his life. Morpheus is killed and Zion is destroyed, but the man's influence persisted years after his death. The surviving humans led by General Niobe regrouped and with the help of their new machine allies, they build a new underground city named Io. Towards the end of his days, 
Morpheus saw how the machines eventually broke the peace and destroyed his home. Zion's destruction with Morpheus inside is tragic, and it made us realize that everything Morpheus had sacrificed was for nothing. In the end, the machines had won. But as rumors of this new power spread, he ignored them. He was certain what you had done could not be undone. I'm sorry, Neo. I won't let what happened to Zion happen to Io. In the video game The Matrix Online, Morpheus is more aggressive. He fights against the machines because he believes that they hid Neo's body. Morpheus dies at the hands of an assassin sent by the machines. Why won't they give up his remains? They say they haven't recycled them. They belong in Zion, in a holy place. He saved us. He saved them. He saved the Matrix. But with Niobe's revelation of Morpheus's ultimate fate, the story of the Matrix Online was made invalid, right? Well, not exactly. As I mentioned in a previous video, we think that the Matrix Resurrections shows us a new simulation long after the events of Revolutions. And we also believe that Neo and Trinity in this story are likely digital clones created by the Analyst. We have a video where we delve into this theory. But then what happened to Morpheus? The Matrix Online story might not be completely non-canon because Matrix Resurrections shows us a lot of things that we believe were false including the supposed real world and Io. It is possible that Morpheus died at the hands of a hired gun, or maybe he's still alive somewhere. We don't buy the idea that he was buried along with Zion, but if that was indeed his end, buried underneath the ruins of his home due to his hubris, then that is a depressing end to such a stoic character. Morpheus gave his life to Zion, and in his final moments, and he might have realized that his desperate desire for peace destroyed him. Morpheus' need to have faith in something or someone turned him into a skeptic. He ignored the Oracle's warnings because he no longer trusted her. His faith shifted completely to Neo, and that unshakable faith ultimately killed him. But do you agree? Is Morpheus truly gone? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.